Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Yeagley from Sage Integrative Medicine Clinic. Um, thank you for joining me. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about osteoarthritis. Um, it is a very common condition actually throughout the world, and it is thought that about um, at least 10% of people over 60 have an issue with this. And of course, those numbers rise as we age. Um, so today, I want to go through, you know, what are what are great, you know, natural solutions that we can use uh, to possibly help you, uh, one, uh, relieve pain, you know, increase your function, and possibly keep you out of having knee surgery. And that's something that's really important. So, um, so PRP is something that I'd like to discuss today. That is platelet-rich plasma. Um, so when we're looking at osteoarthritis, uh, what happens within the knee? And actually the knee is the most common joint um, that is affected by arthritis. Um, and so over time, we have loss of cartilage. So cartilage is this really, um, it's it's, <clears throat> it's a it's a thick tissue that is actually very uh, it's dense but it's springy and it actually is fluid filled and protects us so we can think of like when you're jumping you know you don't have your bone hitting you know you've got that cartilage nice cartilage there to soften that um, and keep you out of pain so over time some people can have significant loss of that cartilage um, which then you know people might notice they're like you know they they creak you know they ache um, and overall or just generally have pain Pain, um, which tends to worsen over time. So many people, you know, more traditional treatments would be someone's using like a, a oral uh, uh, NSAID like ibuprofen, um, which actually is harder on your joints. It actually reduces cartilage further. A lot of people don't know that. Um, or say they're seeing their orthopedic doc and they're getting cortisone injections. Also temporary relief that actually reduces inflammation at the moment, uh, but does not rebuild cartilage. Um, and then you have something that there's another option, which I actually don't mind. It's hyaluronic acid. Um, and that is a natural substance uh, that is very thick and creates like a gelatinous like uh, um, uh to mixture in your knee, but it's temporary. So it does not actually contribute to your longer term repair. Um, so then we get into PRP. Uh, PRP has actually been around for a long time. Platelet rich plasma, which is your own plasma. I know it sounds very weird. Um, your own plasma from your blood uh, that has your platelets in it. We take that out, we activate it. Um, and it's been found that once we take that activated PRP and we put it back into your joint, uh, there um, are growth factors that it stimulates. It starts actually regenerating cartilage. Um, and that almost sounds too good to be true, um, but there have been many, many large-scale clinical trials on PRP. Um, really, actually, the first one starting in the 50s. Um, so this has been around for a long time. Um, and so what they've seen, and it does depend, you know, it depends, it's, it, the, how effective it is is going to depend on, you know, how severe are your knees. Um, and and what age you are. So it really can work for any age. However, what we found that say above 65 or above, you know, 65, 70, that that person or even 60 could use a little more support than say somebody who's 40 um, and is starting to experience osteoarthritis from say old injuries. Um, so what we do, what I like to do uh, that makes our PRP a little bit different um, is we, we like to, if we can, um, take that PRP, we actually add nutrients to it. So certain vitamins that have been found to uh, increase your body's ability to regenerate cartilage, um, as well as also oxygen. So there's also, this, uh, that's a separate thing, but oxygen, a certain type of oxygen called ozone has been studied to also stimulate those same growth factors. And so we use both. Um, it's very safe. Both are extremely safe. People have very minimal reactions, if any, and if they are, temporary um, just from having a shot. Um, so both and then uh, ideally if someone is dealing with something more severe, say we're dealing with a moderate to severe arthritis, um, we have a protocol where uh, we like to, I really like to start not just work on the knee but work on the whole body. So we found that we have more effectiveness if we can support the healing ability of the body itself as well as making those platelets more nutrient rich and dense and more effective actually uh, once we, you know, before we 
actually pull them out of your body and put them into your joint. So I like to support the body through uh, oral nutrients, so shifting diet, going anti-inflammatory diet if we can, um, as well as doing IV nutrients and getting into the use of systemic oxygen. Also another fantastic regenerative medicine. So um, our protocol will differ depending on you know your needs, the severity of your knee, um, the function that you currently have. Um, but of course, so this is you know on an individual basis. But I've seen incredible results. You know, even with if we are just doing one injection, people can have an amazing response. But if I'm able to also work on those other areas and and help the body, you know, uh, systemically heal, um, we really are looking then at more long-term amazing results. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions um, about our protocols, about PRP, about your knee, would love to see you uh, anytime and see you soon.